Good morning. Um, the lighting is terrible in here, so let me quickly go in here. Running very, very late. It is approximately 5 50 in the morning. I had literally less than two hours sleep. You know, I don't know how I'm surviving right now. But we're going on a hike to Wadi Shab, and basically, um, someone's waiting for me downstairs, so I need to go. <laughs> So we are at Wadi Shab, um, but I won't be able to vlog because you're probably going to get submerged in water. Look at this little goat. This is honestly so beautiful. This is what we're working so far. You literally can't see anything, but we're going to be going into the Wadi on a little boat. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'll see you. We are gathered back at the spot. And all the goats are still here. It's just, they're just so bloody cute. Like, I don't understand, especially the baby ones. Um, this is our gang. Say, say a message to the Hello. vlog. It's easy hike today. We have it was a brilliant hike. I don't know about easy. Hike. Oh, here we go. Guys, it was not five minutes, it was like five hours. It's five minutes, yeah. Guys, follow them. Come on, X. Come on, X. They're great, great tour guides. The, the beautiful Amman. Yes. <laughs> guys, a small miracle, miracle has occurred. Whoa, this is so right. What is going on? Anyways, a small miracle has occurred because I'm ready on time for once in my life. Um, we're going for dinner and... Okay, right, I really need to get a new ride because that's just not doing it. Okay, this is slightly better even though the lighting's really bad. Anyway, we're going for dinner. This is my fit that you may have seen in Dubai, but I actually never wore it for a full day or like even a half day. Um, but yeah, I don't want to be late, so I'm just not going to vlog too much. I'll take you hopefully with me and I can show you a man properly because I know I haven't been a great vlogger um, lately, but hopefully that's going to change. So we're in an Italian restaurant and I'm not going to lie, the food looks so good. So we ordered. Uh, repeat the order, please. Honestly, what like, I don't even know. I think we did too. We ordered too much. So guys, this is the fat. This is the starter. Thanks for shouting it. Whoa! And these are our drinks. So apparently, this is like so delicious. It's like. Oh. Wait, what's underneath this? So Aisha, this is this is chips, like uh, fried, fried ones, and then there's yeah. chicken inside. Aisha. Oh, you just ruined the mountain. No way. <laughs> no. Either way, it be ruined. <laughs> Like, there is chicken. I want to show okay. You. Cheese and chicken. I mean. Do you want to be on my vlog? No, no, no. I don't want to be famous. Okay, you're not going to be famous. This is chicken. That's chicken and cheese. Wow, it's it's delicious. Is. So the rest of the food has come, and this is like short ribs with risotto and fried onions. Uh, I should. Should, should, do this. should do what? Yeah. Mix it. Oh, uh, make it pull. Yeah, we'll do that later. And then this is the pasta that's almost finished. So guys, we're in the Royal RP. Um, we're going to the was it called the Opera House in Scotland? Okay. Hello. 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 Guys, we're in this dessert shop here, yeah, but it literally looks like a makeup shop. Shops. It's very cool. It's called. And um, yeah, and Lydia is here, bro. And Lydia is here, but she doesn't want to be on camera. Here are some of the desserts, and this is the like deco. It's very interesting, guys. <laughs> guys, look at our delicious dessert. Why isn't it focusing? Mm. So hot. Because I like hotel view. 
this is Muspa and then this is like one side of the swimming pool but then if you go all the way down here there's a women's only swimming pool which is basically exactly exactly the same but for women only morning so it's about i don't know like 9 30 10 o'clock almost and we are off today to Jabal Akhtar which is meant to be like a really really beautiful area and because it's like um spring season apparently like there's gonna be just like beautiful flowers everywhere and whatnot <laughs> So guys, we are now in Barakat Mose, which is like a village area. Honestly, I'm exhausted right now. So instead of showing me, I'm going to show you this little... Um, guys, I just don't even know. I can't really comprehend right now. I'm really tired. <laughs> but how bloody cute. So we're going to get some like coffee and tea and stuff. Um, I haven't had breakfast. I had like this little croissant from those packet ones that I got from the hike yesterday. Okay, it's got really dark. Look how beautiful this is. This is a house? Yeah, old house. But it's right now it's a, um, a cafe, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the fellage in the little cafe. And it goes all the way, obviously, through and out. I'm gonna go through this little tunnel thing. Oh, oh my goodness. And it takes you to So guys we are officially on Jebel Akhtar. It was the cutest thing ever. The goat was literally just chilling there. But then he got scared of me. Anyways, let's go. Guys, we're in the rose factory. It's really quiet in here and we've just basically seen the production um, process of how they make their rose water, rose oils, rose this, rose that and it just literally smells so strongly of rose, it's mad. Here's the machine they use to produce their rose oil and their rose water and then in all of these tubs, if we open one of them, this is, oh my goodness filled with, with the guys the smell is nuts by the way these are all filled with the rose water and then they sell like their products here they have like different scents and different things available i don't think you can see how high up we are but i promise you this is so bloody scary we've come to like a little um restaurant and we're sitting like on the floor seating i just love on the floor seating in restaurants i don't know if this is even focused but this is what we're eating this is mendy um mendy not mendy and it's traditionally a yemeni dish but our menus also make it to this their own like version and these cute little salads guys here are some more incredible views for you like we were basically earlier on we were like up there and now we've come like all the way across morning guys so i'm off to breakfast right now it's like 9 30 i don't actually know i'm just making this up this is what i'm wearing today you can't really see to be fair i'll probably change because i'll probably just wear this for breakfast and then depending on what i'm doing for the rest of the day we'll probably have to change um guys it's like 36 degrees yesterday it was 36 degrees today's probably like 34 degrees i don't know how i'm surviving but anyways see you at breakfast show you a quick pan did you, you want to be in this one this one this yeah. time Yay! <laughs> Some people don't think I'm an absolute loner. Look how cute this little mocker is with two little heart biscuits. And what is that your carrot? Basically, uh, Liddy's yeah. obsessed with carrot, guys. Um, she has it almost twice a day. <laughs> Every day. And I've never even tried it since I've been here, but maybe I should. So our food arrived. So I got the French toast and Lydia, I'm slightly jealous of her. She got the waffles and chicken with the maple syrup. Amazing. And look, the waffles are like so a little heart shape. <laughs> and they put little flowers on the top. Hello people, welcome back to the vloggy vlog. Um, so Lydia has officially left me, so I'm like like alone technically, even though there's actually loads of people on Amman who I know, which is good. Um, but 
Now, as this is a work trip, you probably haven't seen me do much work, but I've been doing work in the background. I'm now going on my first interview. Um, I have like a few interviews lined up with like various different people um, to do my research project. So I'm meeting the first one today. We're gonna, we're gonna meet and then we're gonna probably go for lunch and then like I'll do the interview over lunch which i'm a bit nervous you know because this is my first one i'm just like oh i don't know how it's gonna go hey guys so i just came back from my first interview a very interesting experience but yeah now i'm gonna go for a swim and then i have to go out for dinner with my friend in a little while so i'll take you not to the swimming bit but i'll take you to dinner of course so i'll see you in a bit i'm back guys so um came back from the swimming pool a couple of hours ago guys and there's basically this ladies only swimming pool section in the hotel so i'm out here you know in my swimming costume westernized swimming costume tell me why there were hella man walking into this swimming pool and i'm just there screwing at them and obviously like i'm literally like the so the entrance is here i'm like all the way at the back over here like just vibes and trying to like live my best life and i'm just seeing hella man trying to enter this women's only swimming pool and i'm just looking at them trying to screw them but obviously they probably can't even see my screw face and then like i'm signaling to them like go like and i just do you know one of them ones where like it's like i can't even just run and like get my towel because that will probably like expose me more it was just oh, it was just a disaster and like i'm just gonna have to complain to the hotel and be like could you make your signs more clear because clearly people don't understand um and it just really pissed me off like it, i was having the best time in my life and they just ruined my vibe but anyways basically i'm going to dinner now with my friend hey guys okay so guys we are at the wave it's like a explain what it is sara hi what is the wave what is almoj almoj is a compound oh. where you find the mall and uh what else? Restaurants, <laughs> coffee shops, everything. It's there's, nice every, there's everything here. Guys, there's palm trees. And we're going to have dinner. I'm very hungry. Are you hungry? Yes, I am hungry. I'm very hungry. And Sada is going to be in my vlog. This is her first feature. Hi. Bye. These are the, t the, sul so the sultan. This is the old sultan. The old one and this is the new this, one. This is the new one. And the left hand, it is the new one. And then this is the old one. Keep your heart open. <laughs> I'm dead. Guys, this is the marina, yeah? You can't see it, but it's so pretty. And like, it just reminds me a bit of Dubai because, okay, well, this area here was like Dubai area. And then this is like Hookah, which they also have in Dubai, which is bougie, bougie, shisha place. <clears throat> and then like, yeah. Sara, tell us your favorite thing about a man. Favorite thing about a man is food. The food. food is very good food, food. always. always. We have lovely nature here, so everyone should come and visit us. I agree. And it's honestly a beautiful country, guys. I have nothing but good things to say about the people, the people as well. Yeah, yeah. they're calm and good people. <laughs> Very welcome. No, listen, guys, Sara, this is the second time I met her. She is honestly probably the nicest person I've ever met in my life. Oh my god. Don't you're get too. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, anyways, we're gonna go enjoy your time I here. Am all Guys, oh my goodness, this food looks. You can't even see because it it's so dark. I know what. Let me put my flash on. So I'm shining my flash. So, guys, this is so interesting. So, here we have butter chicken, and then you've got like a burrata on top. Then we have a burrata over there. And then you have like these loaded fries. And then, like, we both got drinks. But Sada doesn't like her drink because it's so not fresh. Sweet. I told you to get the fresh, <laughs> the fresh one. And this place is really lovely. It's called Sukhoon. And what's what's the cuisine like? Uh, it's Indian, modern Indian. Modern so Indian. Yeah. yeah, it's just interesting. Like, it's like a bit Mediterranean as well. Um, but it's very, very pretty. So, guys, we just finished our delicious dinner. Wallah, it was the best food I've had in Muscat so far. Um, and now we're at Hookah, Hookah, and hopefully we're going to get a table, right? Yeah, I hope to see the vibe. Right, yalla. It's already Ramadan vibes. What do you mean it's already Ramadan vibes? So oh, they've shisha. got the decoration. Yes. Yeah. So they've like decorated it. Cute. Lol. We will walk. Good morning, guys. It's approximately 8.30 a.m and i have my second interview literally now i'm just waiting for the lady to arrive thank goodness this time this one's like near the hotel or might even be in the lobby if you can't tell already i'm flipping exhausted every day i wake up very very early um and then every day go to bed like so late because we like go out in the evenings and stuff 
but it's fine because you know i'm just trying to make the most of every day here so that's my plan for the morning then i'm planning on going to the grand mosque straight, straight after this interview and then after that i have another interview in the afternoon and then i have another basically i have so many interviews today and um yeah we'll see what else we're gonna fit i'm back guys so i just had my second interview with um this woman called Saada, a very, very inspirational woman, um, very like influential in the like online community. She was the first female elected um, Olympic board committee member, amongst like many other things. Anyways, we'll discuss that later because I'm running late. <laughs> no surprise there. Basically, I'm meant to be going to the Grand Mosque, the Sultan Qaboos Mosque, which isn't too far from my hotel. But then at 12, I'm also meant to be meeting my third interviewee. But the issue, this is the issue, is I don't have a Omani sim and I don't have Wi-Fi obviously out like on the roads. So I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. And the only reason why I'm trying to fit everything in is because um, in order, to, if you wanna go to the mosque, it's best to go in the morning, like before 11, it's basically almost 11. Um, so I'm trying to like fit everything in because I don't have much time left. So hopefully this all works out. Honestly, yeah, this mosque is so bloody beautiful, subhanAllah. And it's like massive guys, it's like a whole compound, like, I just don't even understand. So I'm here, but visiting hours are over, so essentially, God knows if they'll let me in, but if I just want to pray, like I'm assuming that they can't not let me in if I just want to pray, right? I'm trying to like get good light. Um, and my taxi driver is so cute because he knows I don't have a sim and I don't have like um, internet. He was like, he'll wait for me until I come out and then he'll take me to my next location, which is so nice of him, but I just hope I remember where the hell Oh, I can use this as footage to remember. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Guys, the security guy was literally just like, you can't be here, blah, blah, blah. But then like, I just had to waffle a little bit and he said, be quick, be quick. So honestly, I'm in shock at how beautiful this place is. SubhanAllah, let me show you. This is literally just the entrance, guys. It's so massive, this whole area. And it's just beautiful. Just finished my third interview. So I thought, oh my god, my third interview. And now I'm in the mall because I met the um, the lady in the mall, and I'm at McDonald's. I got a um, spicy McChicken burger because they're like the best things ever. Then I got the chicken nuggets, and I got the jalapeno bites. And obviously I got it like as a meal, so there's chips and stuff. And then I got orange juice because I don't drink fizzy drinks. Oh guys, I'm back. Honestly, voila today. I don't know why. I'm just so... Well, I know why. I'm just exhausted. Oh, shite. I'm just exhausted. Okay, absolutely finished. I need to have a nap. And I need to eat. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you my food once I unwrap it and stuff. And get this off my face. Okay, guys. So let's check out what delicious food I have to eat. So here's my orange juice. Here are my six chicken McNuggets. Yum. Here are the jalapeno bites. And then we have the chips and the mixed spice burger. You already know what burgers look like, let's be real. These are the bites and these are the nuggets. And did he give me chili sauce? Okay, yeah, perfect. All right, you lot, see you never. So I'm going out now. I um, had a nap, over naps probably, and then I woke up late. And now um, I'm literally about to go out with, with like a friend slash work colleague. And, but the thing is, I might do a potential interview also, so I'm not going to take the camera with me. And like, to be fair, I probably should, but I, I probably won't because I feel like I'm going to be meeting certain people who I don't really just want to be putting the vlog camera out in front of. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you here. Anyways, I shouldn't be vlogging. I need to go. So I'll see you later tonight or tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not. So tomorrow, going to do something fun in the morning, like... Um, yeah, and then after that, I'm going to Nizwa, which is um, another like city close to Moscow. It's like one and a half hours away, and they have like an old market there where you can buy lots of things. They have um, they have a fort, like a Nizwa fort, which is super super like famous or whatever. Um, and then after that, when I get back, I think I'm going to visit my friend's family house. Um, and that's it, literally, yeah. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I need to update you guys on? You're probably just fed up with seeing me meet me in this hotel room. But it's a bit difficult sometimes to take the vlog camera everywhere because 
I don't just want to be vlogging people who obviously don't want to be put on public platforms um and also it can be a bit difficult if i'm doing like certain activities but you know i'm doing my best guys i'm really doing my best to keep up this vlog game and make it entertaining for you but right now i'm going to get ready for bed and hopefully catch an early night and i'll see you early in the morning good morning guys it's approximately 5 15 in the bloody morning i woke up at about 4 30 to get ready because today we're going horse riding on the beach at sunrise guys if you know me you know this is like my lifelong dream yeah once i get home trust me i'm going back to bed but then i have to wake up again at nine so i'll probably get like an hour and a bit of sleep once i get back to the hotel and then wake up again at nine because i have to go on my second trip you lot the way i'm just killing myself on this trip like with the lack of sleep but it will all hopefully be worth it guys look if you can see oh it's so dark but these are the horses that we will be riding and the instructors in this van i'm so excited guys so we are in yeti guys look at the horses coming out i'm so excited it's so beautiful literally just like in the middle of nowhere and here are the beautiful horses wow guys i want the horse this is alayes and that's Mushakha. <laughs> Guys, follow the Instagram, okay? As Sabri Equestrian underscore question. Guys, I had the best day of my life. Honestly, if you need to go now. <laughs> so, guys, we've come to now the beach area to have breakfast, Turkish breakfast. And I can hear the sounds of the waves and it's making me very happy. Look at this absolutely beautiful Turkish breakfast. So this is like the eggs and salami. Then you have like the honey. And what is this, Sara? This cheese? And this is cheese, yeah. So cheese. cream cheese. Some fruit, some pastries. Guys, oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, I need to eat. Hey, 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 so we got back from breakfast and horse riding about half an hour ago and now I have to go out again. As you can see, I had a quick change. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll fix that. Um, basically, now I'm going to Nizwa, which is, um, it's like an old traditional Armeni town um, and it's one and a half hours away from Muscat and I'm just waiting for, it's like, um, this tall lady, but she's more like a friend, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like you're like, with a tall person but like she's like a tall guy okay, so we're going to Nizwa but then I have to be back by 5 30 because at six o'clock I have an interview with a very important ex-football coach who my friend very kindly like set up for me and then after that I have another interview with his paddle tennis like um with his paddle tennis player who's also like very well known and famous in our man her name is Fatima and she is quite like a renowned name so it's just gonna be a long long day guys as every day has been since i've been here like literally non-stop i have not had time to breathe but i'm very happy that i'm getting like a lot of things done and obviously at the end of the day it's a work trip so i have to do the work stuff right guys we are in nizwa however it's 37 degrees i just don't know how i'm gonna survive i don't know how i'm gonna i'm already I'm already perspiring on a mad level. But this is the fort, the famous Nizwa fort. And this is basically in the souk. So we're gonna go into the fort and see what, see what it's saying. So guys, this is Nizwa fort and it's very, very, very big. Here's a cannon. This is traditional Amani bread. Shoot it some hair. Uh, to the fort we go, you lot. Guys, well, there's too many stairs for this heat. <gasps> we made it to the fort. As in, like, the whole thing's a fort, but... You know, like, the fort fort bit? Where you can see where they used to dead off a few people okay 
So, imagine I was an Armani soldier and I spot someone I need to shoot. I will come up here. That's my target. Guys, this is like, honestly, I can't show you how beautiful it is. This is like the nicest cafe ever. So this is the upstairs of this absolutely beautiful cafe. So you have like the complete view of the fort and then they even have like this little swing and it's just vibes. We made it to the sauk, yay. So you keep, because they always see us in these little, look, like, um, like these little measureless areas, I don't know what to call them. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to eat because I haven't eaten since Turkish breakfast, which was at what, eight in the morning? And it's now like, by 4.30 ish um, This is the shua um, is, is this the lamb one? Hey 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 So I am about to go off to my I think this is my 4th or 5th interview I can't exactly remember This is with a The director of the women's paddle Tennis team in our man and they just won their first ever golf championship in paddle tennis like i didn't even knew paddle tennis was a thing but apparently it's like a new upcoming sport so we're gonna go chat to him um and then i was meant to chat to their tennis like their famous tennis player fatma nabahi but she is busy or like unavailable i don't know what happened we're gonna have to reschedule that and then after that i'll probably go eat go dinner something along those lines and then tomorrow guys i'm so excited tomorrow <laughs> might just be my second favorite day in our man because today was my first favorite day if i haven't already told you literally guys oh my god today was a dream but anyway tomorrow i'm doing something even more exciting or just as exciting as to what i did today but i'll tell you tomorrow because you know we like to keep secrets around here but that also requires me to wake up at flipping like six in the morning oh it's just guys <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, but it's okay because it's going to be worth it. Like, today was worth it. As long as I get to bed before flipping midnight tonight and have, like... Because, listen, guys, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning today, okay? The time now is 6.50 p.m. Realistically, I'm not going to bed for another four or five hours. But I need to get a good night's sleep today. Otherwise, it's just going to... Do you know when you're, like, overly exhausted and your body's just completely drained? And then you can't enjoy things because you know you're just tired so hopefully i get a good night's sleep today um i probably won't take you along to the interviews because you don't need to see them and they're a bit boring but then i always regret it because like whenever i go out in the evening it's always so fun and like you know we go to like cool places and stuff and then i'm like oh i really should have brought you guys along because i could have shown you x y and z but but yeah so i don't think i'm gonna bring you along but I'll tell you about it when I get back. Hey guys, morning. Um, it's about 8.50 and I'm off to... No, it's not 8.50, 7.50. Shit, what time is it? Allah, I had a heart attack, ya Rab. Okay, yeah, it's 7.50. I'm off to Dominion Islands to go snorkeling. I'm so excited. Anyway, I have to catch a taxi, which is why I'm wearing a mask and stuff. And then we're meeting at like this place called El Mouj. And like, I'm, the thing is, I'm not familiar with the meeting point, which is going to be an issue because... This is a solo trip, um, but hopefully we find it and don't get lost and we're not late anyway, see you on the boat. I still use mine for the motor bike. They just... So guys, I honestly don't know the last time that I recorded, when was it? I think it was when I was snorkeling, but then obviously I couldn't film snorkeling because is underwater and then when i came back i literally was so bloody busy like i didn't even have time to think but anyways i just came back from the final supper the last supper with my friends and voila i was like guys i'm not an emotional person that's not sensitive but i feel so sad to be leaving and like alhamdulillah everything good comes to an end but it's really really sad that i'm going i feel like Honestly, I've met some just amazing, amazing people and I've, yeah, I've had a very, very good trip and I will return. I'll be back. I'll come back. Anyways, guys, I haven't packed a thing. My flight leaves at seven in the morning tomorrow. That means I have to wake up at like five. It's probably like midnight now. I don't even want to know what time it is. So I'm going to quickly pack. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly pack, get ready and go to bed because... I really need to get some at least a few hours of sleep tonight 
and I will I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow because my memory on this camera is basically I have 50 seconds left essentially so I'll see if I can delete anything if not then I will see you in London like yeah in the next vlog but it's been a pleasure I've had a nice time documenting everything um makes some good memories i hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah it's <laughs> i don't want to leave guys <laughs> i don't want to leave um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can fit into these last literally 30 seconds oh yeah the place that i went snorkeling with today are called they're called demania shells and we went to the demania islands um yeah that was I would tell you more about it but I can't but we saw turtles I saw like it was incredible guys because I literally felt like I was a fish like it was unbelievable like the corals were incredible um yeah anyways ma salama I will see you later let me take a thumbnail this shouldn't be a thumbnail should it because I have a whole amount vlog okay bye